You won't feel the pressure as you cook this easy and simple pressure cooker version of tandoori chicken. It's time for another hot dish from Happy Healthy Y. Hot tip, make the marinade and marinate the chicken overnight. I have also marinated the chicken for only 30 minutes with fine results. But if you marinate overnight, you can sit your lazy butt down on the couch while the meal feed does all the work. For the lazy overnight marinade method, start by placing all the ingredients in a bowl. Dump in 3 fourths cup of plain yogurt, 1 half tablespoon gram masala, 3 fourths teaspoon of ground turmeric, 1 tablespoon of salt, a half a tablespoon of cashmere red chili powder or more to taste. One and a half tablespoons of vegetable oil. One and a half teaspoons of lemon juice. Two cloves of garlic, minced. And two teaspoons of grated fresh ginger. Blend the spices together. If you want to have a clean mixing bowl when you're done, mix the marinade with the spatula. For a too hot to handle tandoori chicken, add more cashmere red chili powder. When I triple this amount of cashmere red chili powder, the mouth-burning sensation was almost too much to bear. When this tandoori chicken gets cooked, it's not going to be the usual red that you see in an Indian restaurant. But you can fix that problem by adding more red spices like paprika or chili powder. Increase the amount of cashmere red chili powder or add in red food dye. Now that the marinade is ready, time to score the chicken. I feel that three scores per drumstick should be enough. And if your drumsticks are playing soccer, three scores would make a hat trick. I am told that scoring the chicken will allow the spice to get into the chicken and make it more tender. But scoring won't increase the tenderness when using the meal fee because the steam pressure will tenderize the drumsticks regardless. Also, in many tandoori chicken recipes I've seen, they request to remove the skin from their chicken pieces. But if you're barbarians like we are, don't waste your time putting the skin because you're just going to eat it anyway. After all 12 drumsticks are scored, that's four hat tricks, and place in a large Ziploc bag, scrape in the marinade with a spatula. This way hardly any of the marinade is left on the bowl. Waste not, want not. Now seal the bag and pulverize the mess to make sure the marinade has gotten on each and every drumstick and into each score. Be sure to drop the bag into the refrigerator overnight or the mixture might sprout wings and fly. When you're ready to cook the tandoori chicken, drop the trivet into the milky pressure cooker and add a cup of water to steam the chicken. Steam the drumsticks will make them very tender. Next, drop in all 12 drumsticks. There should be just enough room to fit them all in. If you get any of the marinade outside the meal fee, don't be barbaric. Wipe off the fitting juice, close the lid, and make sure the vent is set to sealing. Now on the intricacies of the meal fee pressure cooker. Click on the pressure cook button and set the timer to 15 minutes. But don't let the 15 minutes fool you. The pressure cooker will take about 60 minutes to boil the water when it's in its on phase till the red button pops up and then take another 4 minutes to build up the pressure before going into the cooking phase. So if anyone tells you this dish only takes 15 minutes in a pressure cooker, they're lying. Once the cooking phase is complete, the milky automatically switches to a keep warm setting which I allow to run for about 10 minutes before I quick release the rest of the pressure. So in total, that 15 minute timer you put into the milky is going to take you about 35 minutes. But the trade off is that I can play video games while the milky perfectly cooks the drumsticks and I need the milky to perfectly cook my drumsticks as I often have trouble getting my chicken drumsticks to be fully cooked without any red near the bone and not be overcooked. So when I use the milky, I never have to worry about whether the drumsticks are done. Here, let me show you the tender doneness of one of the chicken legs. No bloody red meat near the bone this time, or any time, as cooking with the milky is like cooking for dummies. Now we need a guinea pig to see if these chicken drumsticks are cooked to a tender, flavorful perfection. Oh, I know. Let's see what my kids think. I want to spice you first. Let's see. Hmm. As you can say, very moderately spicy. I mean, that's a really just like the chicken you get at an Indian buffet. 
I don't know, like that, those spices that they use in Indian buffets, this is pretty much exactly what it tastes like. So if you like those Indian buffet chickens, this will be for you. As you can control the spiciness, depending on how much seasoning you put. I know this one has nearly as much seasoning to make it that spicy, because we're not strongly spicy, but this thing can get really spicy. I don't know how to explain the spice. It's not like the spice that goes in your nose, it's just spice that just stays in your mouth, or stays in your tongue. Chicken has good flavor. I can taste the spice. It isn't too spicy. My taste buds are probably deceiving me. But when I eat just the chicken, it tastes a bit like fish. I don't think that's how it's supposed to taste, but it's pretty good, I guess. I think I prefer chicken wings or dino nuggets, but this chicken is good and it looks healthier. Happy Healthy Bob Chef Barry here, reminding you to... Wait a minute, you're still here? Well, if so, then you might want to consider clicking on the like button or leaving a comment down below. It really helps support the channel. And you can also subscribe and click the bell to be notified of all my new videos that come out on Mondays with shorts on Thursdays. Thanks for watching. Have a happy and healthy day.